Yeah, hello! What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Roman Puss, Roman in game, or Roman P, whichever you so choose to call me here with some more open VR. Now, I know we just occurred last like, week, we had the Shanks polls. This week, we got the Blackbeard polls. Next week, it's likely to be the Big Bomb polls. Not guaranteed. They might still pull back because she's newer, but it's most likely they're going to do it because she's like several months old now. But not only is Big Mom. We're going to go over some Big Mom gameplay. Didn't really say that. But not only is she one of the greatest and rarest classes, like Blue Runners are like rare as could be because for some reason the game Bandai doesn't want to give us Blue Runners. Uh, she's the EX unit and she's Big Mamu Swan. Now, I'm not one to usually play EX units, but Big Mamu Swan is Big Mamu Swan. So my love for her surpasses the EX unit and I want to play. So like, you know, we're playing her. But today we're going to go over a little gameplay. I'm going to show you why she's the best EX unit and... Pretty much just going to show you why she's the best EX unit and how she's going to deal with this influx of Blackbeard units. So let's take a look and see how she played. Alrighty, now let's dive in. Now I have a really, honestly, one of the better setups I don't think you could get. Like, the only thing better is to get the 7 Warlords support, which I am currently working on, and I will tell you which one is better when I get to that point. But, my current setup. First off, for support, I have the Attacker, gives you 200 attack, extra crit. Uh, Straw Hats, which makes you reduce critical damage by 30%, which is insane because crit damage is actually astronomical. So, you gotta be, take that down. Uh, next is Zoans, reduce damage received from element you are weak against by 15%, obviously makes you super tanky. Big Mom being tankier is gonna work in your favor, as you can see the build that I go on her. Um, now, what is that? Zoan, and then we got Grand Line, which makes you damage reduced to see from enemies with the same element. So that's, you're taking reduced damage from the greens and the blues, which all you have to worry about is red, which you have a color advantage against, which I think is already 15%, if I remember correctly, with color advantages. And so yeah, so it's one of the greater supports. Uh, for those of you that can't see, it's just like a little chopper here. Um, it's a bunch of choppers and Zoans. Once we get extra blue Zoans, my support will be even higher, but this is almost near the max that you can get. So 149.1, otherwise I would have it higher. Uh, here Here's my build for her. It's one of my favorites. I think it's actually insane. I have like plus 5k HP. As you're going to see, I get to almost 30k HP when I'm in game and dang near full attack. So you can kill things and you're decently tanky. And the reason why I go HP percent is because of her heals, which we'll get into in a second. For those of you that don't know, the Kaido medals, these are all Charlotte family HP 18%. You can't really, well, those two are the top two. And then the bottom one is blue element HP 18%. I had a spare of those. Uh, when you get hit, it reduces your skill one by 2%. This one's the same exact one. When you get hit, reduce skill one by 2% uh, G's. And then, yeah, this one just gives you extra attack. I could honestly boost my attack up because I think I only have 68% attack on her. And 14% attacks across the board on there. So we have 54% attack and... Yeah, only 54% attack. Actually, I could boost that up much more, which we will in due time. Make my Big Mama Swan an unstoppable god is. Um, <laughs> so this is her bread and butter. Her skill one is the most important. Puts you in an electrified state, mineral range attack. Um, you guys can read it. I'll let you do it. Basically, you use skill one. You're invulnerable. You can use this on top of a Shanks. So if Shanks goes and counters, you can walk up to him. Skill one, you will not get hit. He won't get stunned but you won't get hit. So if you mess up your skill one, you don't get punished for it, which is very nice. Honestly, kind of brain dead, but you know, Big Mama Swan, she is the one true queen in all of One Piece and the best character ever, so well-deserved. Um, and for that, for the next 14 seconds, if you get seven warlords, you can boost it up to 18 seconds. But for the next 14 seconds, you'll be in an electrified state. Enemies that attack you will have a 50% 50, 50 chance to get stunned. Otherwise, you uh, kind of radiate an electric field, so sometimes when they just walk up to you, they'll get stunned. So this allows you to, honestly, you can walk up, if people dodge out the treasure, you can shock, and then you can just start pulling the treasure, and sometimes they'll walk up, try and attack you, and they'll get shocked again. It lets you just take treasures right in front of the enemy, and they can't do anything about it. Insane, really decent damage, and yeah, so this is why you go skill one, because when they hit you, you get reduced skill one, and we also have a trait that reduces it as well. The next one is Ikaku Sovereignty. This one most people think was going to be useless, but it's actually insanely good because it works with your shock. You shock people, and then you charge up, you can get a full charge and hit people, unless your shock hits them three times and knocks them down, which does happen occasionally, but if you shock them, start charging immediately, you should be able to hit them, get the full charge, get the fat damage, and they're automatically done down down to like 20% HP, 10% HP sometimes. Um, rare occasions, one shot, depends on how much stronger you are. If I have more attack, I will be one shotting a lot more. Um, now her trait traits. Uh, when there are 60%, 60 seconds or less, inflict hunger pangs that boost speed by 20%. Be careful with the hunger pangs, I'll go into that at the end. Um, when you collect power up item nullifies uh, damage inflicted by hunger pangs, 
effect by 30 or 4 30 seconds so this is kind of important on the last 60 seconds of a game you are inflicted this isn't said here but i i know it because i tested it you are inflicted with about 9.1 percent of your current hp and i don't know if it will kill you at one because it's kind of impossible because it only takes your current hp so if you're at 100 you'll be down to 91 hp so it go, does that and then it will reduce down it'll take a little less you'll probably be at like 82 ish the next time so yeah uh so that's for every like 10 seconds yeah um so, or eight seconds it happens every eight seven seconds somewhere around there it was close to that but yeah it's about 9.1 damage so yeah just keep that in mind you will be taking damage unless you can pick up a hammer or something and it reduces it for 30 seconds which is half the time anyway uh when your character is inflicted with electrify nullify shock fantastic when your strength is more than 70 percent boost capture speed by 50 percent obviously she's a runner most have that when you capture a treasure recover hp by 30 percent and reduce cooldown time of skill 2 by 20 percent this is amazing this is your heals you obviously want to be taking treasure if your teammates take the treasures from you that's honestly rude and it is stupid that they do that when your character is inflicted with electrified boost speed by 10 percent movement speed buff for runner pog when attack by an enemy and inflicted with uh while inflicted with electrify 50 percent chance to inflict shock that was what i was telling you with skill one when your strength is more than 70 percent reduce damage received by 30 percent reduce damage received from defenders by 20 percent she's the ultimate blackbeard bamboozler for those of you that don't know uh, when you are down reduce cooldown time of skill one by 15 percent keep that in mind she is amazeballs um now let's get into some gameplay on her i think oh she's perfection all right, what we're looking at here. Ooh, there's all sorts of runners. Okay, honestly, for the Blackbeard influx that I had, I was playing earlier today. This is the day that the new Blackbeard thing came out. We was playing with Blackbeards, like like three, four Blackbeards. It was insane. I'm surprised there's none in this game. But I'm going to show you guys how insane Mama is. Now, she usually scores pretty high. She usually gets a pretty fast score. Uh, it's honestly not too hard to do. So, she's actually, honestly, she's not too hard to 5 0 with. It depends on the team. Kaido is one of your biggest concerns. If I could pick the top counters for Big Mom, it's probably Rayleigh. Not even Rayleigh that much. If you have your skill 1, Rayleigh's not hard to deal with. But Soga King and Kaido. Kaido, your skill 1's kind of useless against. So, just keep that in mind. If he has his, like, super state with his buffs, just don't even bother fighting him. Just run away. It's not worth your time. You will get one shot. You will get, like, waft. Honestly, you shouldn't try fighting him with any character. But. Just keep that in mind. So. Alright, nice. I dodged, but okay. Weird champ. The Kaido's actually running me down. Yeah, this kid saw me playing Big Mom. He's like, yep, we're gonna go Kaido. He didn't get knocked very far. Alright, we're gonna walk away. Not worth my time. See how my skill one's already up so fast? Let's see if we can get this treasure. If we get this treasure, we're golden. Ooh! Alright, we're Gucci. See? Free low. And then we get free heal, baby! Even against the counters. Oh, the shot. Ooh! Oh, later, Snitch! Later, thank you, next! Thank you, next! I'm gonna be honest, she's fairly brain dead. You're dead, kid. Oh, that was 11k damage. Thank you, next. And that's only with 50% attack. I'm just telling you. There's plenty of room to grow. Oh, no thanks. Okay, turn around. What? Okay, we got this. What? Okay, I thought that was mine, to be honest. I'm gonna be real here. Alright, we're looking in a pretty good spot here. We're a little bit of 4-1 in right now. We just gotta make sure we don't throw right at the end. They almost have character boost, so we gotta watch out for that. If I can stall them with my Kaku Sovereign, we'll be golden. Um, people, Luffy's are a little more annoying to deal with, but they are not the end-all be-all. They aren't insanely, like... Let's see how Rayleigh... Like. Oh, he one-shot me. Oh, character boost. Never mind. To be expected. Now, that was entirely my fault. I should not have... Character boost gives you, like, insane amounts of attack, so it was my fault for walking up. I shouldn't have even bothered because they were... In... I knew they were near a uh, character boost. So I gotta be careful with that. Okay, this kid is annoying AF. Bye, kid. Can I get this from the Kaido? All right, let's try and take this. I don't think we can, oh, we might be able to. You think you can dodge me, bro? I don't think so. All right, we won. Three, two, one. Woosh! Oh, free low! Okay, since that kid went and guarded the treasure, I might not get max. He actually held for a pretty long time. Yeah, 
I didn't think I'd get MVP because he was holding, holding for that. Alrighty. Oh, we got another daytime Alabasta. Honestly, one of uh, one of many people's favorite maps. Um, what do we got? Oh, there's the Blackbeard. Oh, I want to show you guys how amazingly she counters Blackbeard. I can literally. I think Big Mom fights Shanks and Blackbeard the easiest out of any other units. Like, well, like, like I'm saying, like her, like beating. Not obviously, she's like one of. The, she is the best one to fight the EX units with. But I'm just saying, like. She excels. Like, if you were to fight a Rayleigh or if you were to fight a Blackbeard, you have a much easier time fighting a Blackbeard. Or even, like, choose another red unit. Like, if you were to fight an Urush. Like, Urush is harder to fight than it is to fight Blackbeard with Big Mom. That's how insane it is. Like, I love her. She's fantastic. That's This is why she is our one true queen. This is why I think the next EX unit on the anniversary will be Green Runner. I think that fits, like, the Kaido Dragon pretty well. And a lot of people saying it's got to be Green Attacker, but I don't see that happening. Alright, let's just get that. He's, if he uses his skill one, he's kind of wasting his stuff. That's also another thing that's really nice. Is the fact that... Let's try and yeet out of here. Let's see. We're going to roll out. He already used both his abilities, so he's wasted that time. I want to fight, ideally... Sorry. I did 8k damage. Not bad. I don't know how much he does. Alright, I. it would be nice if he gave me that, but that's not the end of the world. I'm going to wait for skill 1 before we go fighting. He already wasted his, whatchamacallit, so let's see if we can get in here. Nice try, sucker. Hey, latest snitch. Thank you, Nyx. Let's take this treasure. Or Shane's going to stop us. Ooh, we're going to heal. We're going to be healing. Hanendayo. Ooh, a Mihawk. That'll be fascinating. I'm going for the... Whatchamacallit. I got hit by that? Say what? Oh no, the yams. Okay, bye. Does that actually hit me? Hello? By the way, Snake Man does outrange you with the Ukaku Summer. Hello? Wait, where did he come from? Wait, he was just at the across the map! Wait, what? Alrighty, let's see here. We're looking... Okay, we're... Not really actually down. We're kind of down, but not really down. Um, let's see. Watch the, is watch the speed boost and see if... I'm going to see if you guys can see the Hunger Pangs damage. Alright. They should have him dead. That's fine. Bye, sucker. Who is that? Oh, that's the perk, too. Look, as long as you're, like, 100% HP, you can use Nullify Stagger and you beat Blackbeard when he suckles you. Alright, we're going to get this treasure. See? See what I'm talking about? You can ignore the enemy. You don't need to fight them. They wasted your time. Oh, you do gotta be careful if you don't have your electrified stack, uh, thing up. Okay, I hit him too. We Gucci. Ten, nine, eight, seven. And if Snake Man uses his little thingy bajing on you, it's a free win. Oh baby, free low five zero. Oh, I'm telling you, the five O's come a flowing in if you get a good build on here. It's actually insane. Ooh, we got another Big Mom with Swan. Do you see Big Mom excels, beats Blackbeard. It's fantastic. All right, is we going to load? Okay, I don't know if we're going to load here, but that's fine. Uh, with that, guys, that is our Big Mom with Swan gameplay because my phone doesn't want to load. Um, that is our Big Mom with Swan gameplay. I think she's the best of the Yes units. A lot of people argue that she's the most broken unit. She's very broken against attackers. She's not very broken, honestly. I think if you have someone like Magellan... But if you're using someone like Rob Lucci, you get a lot of people complaining, being like, well, she's OP. Well, she's blue. Well, she kind of just beats you. So, yeah, that's how it works. Um, I wish Rob Lucci is the most broken unit in the game. But don't even get me started with that. Uh, with that, that is our Big Mama Swan gameplay. Let me know what you guys think about her. Do you guys love her? Because I do. Um, I literally only use her because she is Big Mom. If she was not, like, I don't care for EX units, and I really think they should be deleted from the game, but... It's Big Mama Swan. We love her. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, be sure to like, follow, subscribe. Also, check me out. Streaming on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes I'll run like 10 to 15 minutes late if I'm a busy boy. But that is, uh, yeah, pretty much. So that is all I have for you guys. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know which of your Charlotte kids is the favorite. Just because I like talking about the Charlotte family. It's just, it's my family. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, kind of cringe, but you know, we got you. Um... Big Mama Swan for life. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for you. I'm your boy, Roman Puss. I'm going to be taking off. Yeah, holly. Peace, beautiful people.